everyone, this is the Mad Salvi letting you know that unless things are proven with Twitter posts and stuff like that and actual, have actual proof behind it, treat everything in this thing as a theory. I will mark try to mark certain things as news and theory and everything like that to kind of let you guys understand, but also, you know, use a critical mind. And I hope you do enjoy. So this is something that I had done before, but I need to do the correction. The, the first correction is that this is a teaser trailer. They're most likely going to be doing lore video. They're most likely going to be doing so much more because remember, Hololive is very good at doing announcing things very good at building up hype look what they did to advent look what they did even to hololive id which you know nidhi sanji the way that they treated their id was way different than hololive did hololive has been doing this stuff they're very professional at it they're very good at announcing things so this is the first thing i have to mention to you guys there should be some comparison in noth i guess they wouldn't even come close i'm pretty sure because of the fact that this is going to be maybe by the end of june or maybe early july they're going to be doing the actual you know debuts but this, they usually give it like a week or two, a couple weeks of actually um, putting things out there. What this is, is showing you the art. Let's take a look at the art that they're going to show you guys. This is all them showing you everything. They're showing the line, the line art. They're showing the, the, the you know, little bit of teasers here and there. Everything's being teased. Everything's being teased. 8 p.m. PDT. So it's going to be tonight as of the the the. Recording of this, most likely, you're going to have to uh, check the next section because I'm probably going to put these two sections together. Once I have the actual debut trailer, once I have the actual lore trailer, I'm probably going to put it there or at least direct you guys towards it. So get a look at that. Make sure that you guys see that coming up soon. And of course, with all of this, we have to mention Advent because Advent are the jailbreak people. They, they broke out of jail. Each one of them broke out of jail. They were in jail. Now they broke out of it. Let's see how they responded. Shiori, nice legs. Of course, Shiori's going to be talking about the legs. Koseki, you'll never take me alive. Yeah, of course, Koseki's going to do that. Do we see ears? Bao bao? <laughs> They're like, bao bao? <laughs> uh, oh my god, no, not them again. Not the girls. Whatever will I do? Whatever will I do? Nerissa is in such a bad position. Sarcasm, of course. Intensifying. She loves the girls. <laughs> Uh, somehow these were all expected responses. Yes, they really were. Especially Narissa's. Yeah. I love how the girls appreciate their possible new kohais and then Bibu's like, you'll never take me alive. Her chaotic gremlin energy cannot be contained. Jumps out of the nearest window in more comic the most comical way possible. Yes, more than likely it's going to be one of those things. It's going to be a very comical way, most likely. Maybe one is a chihuahua. Who knows? Maybe this time it'll actually be a chihuahua. Snow-clouded leopard, doll musician, a person, and either a dinosaur or a dragon. This came out of nowhere. This red person seems to have had a lot of fire motifs in their design. Maybe an Inquisitor. Still not sure what yellow is, but ho Hoodie gives a frilled lizard vibes. Oh, that'll be interesting. I don't think we have very many actual lizard in... Ho I don't think we have any in Hololive, honestly. I really enjoy the fact that Nerissa claimed the crown of the most aggressively gay member of Hollow Yen from Kiara. Uh, in it, uh, does that mean we'll finally get the British? Maybe we'll get some British in here? Maybe? In it, maybe? Nerissa really challenging Shane Top here. Oh no, the best scary dummy mommies. Hope they'll be, they don't see me accidentally trip and land on my back and then press down on me. Oh God, this person's, oh, this person. Oh God. Okay. Going to be a lot of people is F the police when they debut. Absolutely. Going to be a definite F the police there. And here we go. They're adding a little bit to the lore. It seems like bow bow. Don't send us back to the cell. This is a top secret, a mission that they have with all of them being here. Like I said, Hololive is very good at getting all of the the, the large uh, hype, building up hype, building up all these things. So it seems like they're going to be tying Advent to this new Hollow Justice. They may be some um, antagonists in there in the beginning. And of course, they're eventually all going to get along because of course they're going to get along. They don't actually dislike each other. But this is something to add to everything. Focus on the Jackbox game, Mokoko. Don't worry, puppies. Unlike back then, you'll not have noble 900k ruffians who are itching to bail you out of jail when it ends up happening. Yes, they're going to be sending tons of super chats to bail them out, of course. Why do the puppies feel like someone creepily saying kitten? Our full Moko Discord puppies, I'm sure nothing bad will ever possibly happen from this. I'm it caught on to you? More like an entire new gen coming after them. Yeah, the Justice one is going to be interesting. Why would we send you back? Yeah, we would never send you back. This is fun, though. This is why I needed to correct some things and make sure people understood that Hololive is absolutely really good with this stuff. They're even tying two different generations together. Love when that happens. All right, everybody. Hollow Justice is actually here. They did an amazing job. I want to go over it with you. Let's take a look. So Breach Detected, that was Shiori. So they're already tying it. Already they're tying it into the current lore that's going on with Hollow Advent. Breach Detected, that's when they, that's when they escaped. 
and report to headquarters immediately. Special mission assigned. Mission. Undercover investigation. All the girls. Target. Five escaped refugees. Fugitives. Fugitives. Who are the five escaped fugitives? Fuamoko twins, Narissa, Shiori, and Koseki Biju. And these are the girls who are going to be fa fighting them and going after them. Team Justice. First one out here, her. Looks really, really nice. Elizabeth Roseblood, looks like. She has, has a little mascot. Gigi, Gigi, Moodin, the chaser. So she's gonna be chasing after the Bao Bao's most likely. She has a, a mascot, the artist it looks like. Raora, panther, so she's a panther. Artist with good eyes, god eyes. And there's a musician there. Ancient Automaton. So she's an automaton. Oh, nice. I don't think they've ever, other than Roboco, they haven't had any kind of automaton or a robot or anything. So this is very nice. This is very good. And they're tying it to restore justice to the world. They're tying it to Advent. Ah, oh, nice. Are you ready? That's what they're doing. That's there right there. That's that you got them right there. That's all of them. Catch us if you can. <laughs> and Advent was like, catch us if you can. Oh, I freaking love it. I absolutely love it. This is good. I am so glad that they did this. Ah, uh, I knew it. Um, you know, Hollow Life is is always good with this kind of stuff. It's always good with uh tying the lore, and they're actually tying the lore of two generations together. Oh, that's really good. I love it. I absolutely love it. Well, that's what we have for you today. Thank you so much for watching. So we have another Neji collab. This time it is a apparel collab, apparently. On the JP Science and Quarter 4 report, they show the lack of interest in EN. They are going more for apparel collabs. They have the three uh, livers here. They are doing, well, actual you know, hoodies and other type of apparel. Well, pretty much the same type of camisole type shirt with uh, it's apparently water resistant. And it is just in different colors. It's on the 25th. Uh, now, my first point of confusion is, well, it's basic apparel. There's also one of those follow us on Twitter for your chance to win type of things. They felt it was weird. Uh, they aren't even Niji branded. It's just a regular apparel thing. Mugi and Riri are second generation gen mates. While Ilu is the first gen. All these people here, up here, uh, which is generally, I guess it's a seniority thing. Probably most hilarious of these is Mugi, whose character is literally a shut in, afraid to go outside. It's not like the person least likely to go into a store. So they're they're not they're not tying the kayfabe to anything, much less care about fashion. Seeing Riri in the setup was rather sad, coming from someone who saw the peak SF Gumi content with Maizumi Kai and Izu, Izumo Kasumi, both have graduated. Kind of sad not to see her lore-based content much anymore. Elu feels more like or Elu feels more like an all-purpose, so I guess it works. So it's time to check out the collab page, which is this one. You have a special present here, which this one, this message here is the one that this guy's going to focus on. It says, uh, the first thing they notice is this. So the, the page says digital script used in the collab stream, super rare. So were they actually wearing it? Were they not wearing it? This is a special gift. If you sign up quick enough, I'm guessing uh, a script for a collab stream, like a corporate shill script for reals. It looks like it wanted to be a VTuber as well, a corporate script shill script. I guess, I mean... It's collab stream about this, so this is their 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 look, I guess, thing that they're trying to do. They're taking a, you know, they're talking about all the different things that they're, that they're gonna be doing. Charcoal, the colors. Black becomes heavy for you. They're talking about all the different types of fashion thing. I guess we, that's why they started doing this because they were talking about fashion overall. Uh, recommendation fashion would assume, you know, they'd be wearing those outfits at least. At least trying to make it seem like they're wearing it, even if it's just placing it on top of the character, that type of thing. You know, it uh, doesn't feel like many, uh, much people came to actually talk about VTubers. Comment section is pretty bleak as well. Comments coming from some random generated username, sounding like you guessed it, a product review. But also second wave, you know, basically another mishandled one, it looks like. I have a special present. Maybe those who purchase get a signed photograph for the backstage or something. All seems like Niji wanting to sell more merch uh, targeted to women. 
and the well primary female fan base you know at least teen female fan base is what they're going for it looks like uh they're also you know when they tend to sell things like this more than anything the perfumes solid perfume i don't know how that works i guess you rub it like kind of like a um a vaseline type of thing and it, and it smells for you you have all these other things here that they're selling dedicated apparel category as well here on on the buy e site here uh there's dedicated apparel category with not that much really when it comes to apparel uh i guess this is them trying to branch out a little bit with all this stuff here um and this people say down here the responses are at this point i'm fully convinced that any color is some kind of money laundering scheme or at minimum, it's pretty much an MLM. Having to take debts from the process training up to debut certainly doesn't help make them look less scummy. Sponsored content be like, this stuff doesn't need to be relevant to be or good. They just need to cut a check to any color. Needs to make any little bit of money for any color is what it seems like. To be fair, Japanese indies can get some weird our sponsorships and brand ambassador roles that have apparently no connection to VTubing or streaming or their kayfabe or anything. I'm about to go to bed and saw this. My tired, sleepy initial response was, WTF is a nonsense. That's what a lot of people are responding to. What the heck is going on here? Why isn't he doing this specifically? And why are they choosing these levers? It's just probably a random uh, lottery, as we know that some things go through random lottery when it comes to Niji Sanji. So good luck to them, of course, the livers, and hope that they get some kind of support from this, and hope that they get some kind of cut from this, other than the 2% that they usually get for merch. So this poster here is worried about Scarla. She's going to play the coffin of Andy and Lily, as if you know that, it's some brother-sister relationship stuff, some furthering of the relationship, at least a chance to, uh, into uh, Uncharted and um, Unhinged territory, let's just put it that way. And people are worried, well, this person specifically is worried that uh, the Niji fans may take it out of control. They may say, oh, why are you playing this? Or, oh, what's up with these jokes? You know, that type of thing. And if she does unhinged jokes, they might treat her the way they're treating Twisty recently. And that is not good because people need to be able to have a bit of a sense of humor. They need to be able to understand that not everything that's said is said to be 100% super duper serious. A lot of things there that are said are said to be um, just, you know, a little bit unhinged, a little bit, you know, strange, a little bit, you know, interesting. And that is fine. You know, don't get angry just for anything. Making jokes about step, step sibling prawn is going too far. A joke that Gar Gur herself has made was just as funny. Helping Scarlings will push them out. Like basically, you know, make sure that they don't do all that kind of stuff. Says so what draws the sisters ire isn't what jokes are being made, but who made the jokes? Pick one of the girls who are in good standing with the sisters and they won't be objecting to any of those kinds of jokes. Basically, if you're popular enough, you won't be objected to the jokes, according to this person's opinion, of course. Likewise, they will react to Scarla playing Andy and Laylee, depends entirely on how they feel about her, not all the actual content to the game. And they, if they don't like her, uh, they haven't liked her ever since the Kurosanji comment, with the one where she liked the comment about it being Kurosanji. So she may be getting some hate. And hopefully she doesn't, but there's a chance that she will. Other people are saying the same thing. Saying best thing that happens is when the regulars completely ignore the antis. There are weirdos that showed up to Scarlet and Aya's outfit reveals, and they got completely ignored by chat, and nothing came of it. They were saying some really weird stuff, and luckily they got, you know, they didn't go through. And, you know, people were just like, ah, forget about them. Let's do what we what we need to do, you know, enjoy the, uh, the showcase that's happened. Not going too far into the whole situation, as I've already done it in the past two videos that I've made, this one is something a little bit different. It's saying that it's not good that they are harassing her the same way that they harassed uh, Nina for doing things that made uh, their co-workers uncomfortable. Vox for the jokingly saying your mom is 8H. Uh, all these types of things, little mistakes here and there. And if, in fact, the, the twisty thing, I'm going to say it again, it's a nothing burger. The twisty thing really didn't have anything bad. She was just doing banter. Banter that, you know, other people have done. Banter that... Uh, a lot of indie VTubers do. I think it's just a lot of people are already very angry at Nidisanji and want to use that as an excuse to get angry at somebody. Uh, also, a lot of Vantacrow's community, the bad side of the community, came out and did some really nasty stuff. Uh, Twisty is just kind of an S poster. She's just kind of a person who is just open and doesn't have a filter. Now, of course, if she said something actually offensive, that would be different. If she called someone a slur, if she did, you know, use that kind of language, then yes, of course, that is when you absolutely criticize somebody. Here, it was just banter. From what I could tell, I watched the video. I watched the stuff that happened, the stuff that they were criticizing her for. It was just regular banter. Do not go and try to destroy someone's career or destroy uh, someone's mental health for some small banter like that. Like, that's what they did to Zion. For some small banter and, and, and little mistakes that she made that she of course, corrected and of course, apologize because they were mistakes that shouldn't have been done. 
they they still are chasing her nowadays. You know, that's the kind of thing that I don't like. Uh, collabs, let the people who are collabing be the ones to decide whether it is a good or a bad step that's being taken. Let that be the ones who decide. Also remember that Twisty's brand is, is brand new at this during this time when he signed his under a microscope. Likely she joined from last year's summer auditions. She's only been on this account for a few weeks. And we know from past experience, Nidhi doesn't even let talents talk to one another um, basically at all before they even start. It's basically they don't have that cohesion from what we have what we have read before they don't have that cohesion that group cohesion rest of the end according to iluna collab kyo mari and aya thank astro for helping them with pre-debut stuff uh it's like well i don't know who else said they never interact with each other so maybe this was a a mistake that this person made uh but either either way unlike hollow life unlike other organizations that want you to have this group cohesion it doesn't seem like nidhi santi pushes it now if the liver themselves are the ones that push the cohesion that's different because there are some good livers like Nina that wanted to have, you know, connections uh, in the Luna collab. Uh, Kyo, Mari, and Aya were thanking Aster for helping them out with stuff. You know, things like that. Uh, and as a veteran, how she handled edgy jokes. Not everyone's going to be able to handle it correctly, but that's what I took it as. Just edgy jokes and not even severely offensive edgy jokes. Some people just need to, you know, relax and let people learn as they go. A live meme in here. I had to absolutely sneak a hollow live meme. I couldn't go out without sneaking a hollow live meme. This is Nodoka. She's staff. And um, they basically made her into a VTuber. And she says, the power. She has the power. Nodoka unlimited power. Nodoka has unlimited power here, of course. And also, they, they've, they've, of course, added new things. Where she found the Doom Slayer sword. Of course, uh, with Nodoka and all this stuff, she has a lot of popularity. So, of course, they're going to add this stuff to it as well. Shadow, if you do or don't know, I'm just going to refresh your memory. Shadow is someone who is pretty darn popular. And she had a break, a, a moment where she was having her, her hiatus. She had a mental health hiatus for, I think it was since April or something like that. So she had a mental health hiatus for a couple of months. She says, feeling genuinely better mentally and physically. Please continue to wait warmly over the coming weeks for announcements and more information. Our regularly scheduled Shondo Ing will be back before you know it at 100% power. So this is great. This is absolutely great to see. It says, glad things are looking up. So happy you're feeling better and we'll continue to wait patiently for your return. Of course, everyone's saying, welcome back, Shondo. Welcome back, Shondo. They had, um, had like I mentioned, a mental health hiatus. This was something that I was glad that they had mentioned it and made it public because mental health in general is something that is not pushed hard enough for people to actually respect and people actually to take breaks for because people are like oh my god people are gonna leave people are never gonna understand i'm not gonna be able to you know have fun anymore that type of thing so that's never good it's never good for that to happen and i'm glad so very glad that she's getting better i love showing good news when it comes to independent vtubers or at least smaller vtubers this one is a lot larger than i am of course but this is lumiere grimson black onyx gang uh they're part of the vtuber group it seems like this is them. Uh, business increase. Yeah, they have everything basically for themselves. Twitch partner, uh, Twitch.tv, Lumiere Grimson. And this is their their Twitch 8.8K followers. So still pretty big and usually gets, you know, a lot of people watching his stuff. So a good singer from what I'm guessing because of the announcement that they made, which is this one. They're going to be performing at TwitchCon. A huge thank you to Twitch for selecting me for such an honor. Literally speechless right now. Uh, and it says, Dan, that's amazing. Been following you for a while. It's so good to hear the communities are, are happen. Like these opportunities are happening to you. Uh, sending good vibes and wishing you the most opportunities head your way. Love and appreciate you, my friend. Thank you so much for the encouraging words and support. It means the world to me. It's amazing. It is very amazing. Let's go. It's definitely a positive reaction. Definitely something I wanted to give you guys a little bit more of. Because it's all, it's it's just, it's good. It's good to have these type of reactions happening here. You know what I mean? This is another big one that I want to mention. Uh, if you remember, friend Riru was uh, Pochi Wanmaru before she left uh, for, left from Idol EN. Because there was some stuff that happened. Uh, I made a video about it a while back. Friend Riru, if I'm not mistaken, was well, uh, Pochi Wanmaru. And now she's moving from friend Riru, friend Riru to Fluff and Fox. So she's going to be a Fennec Fox now. She says, my socials have been updated and the Fox takeover is starting. What does this mean? My new branding comes with Fennec Fox design. I've been teasing in the next months. I'll be moving from my previous branding into this new one until the full reveal later this September. I may use temporary or current assets, the awkward middle phase is what I like to call it. I will be annoying you 
for a bit and remind people this changed frequently. I want to thank my community for understanding me and encouraging me so much. I was so close to giving up on my dream upon the return of Svenriru, of course, but they single-handedly picked me back up and made all this possible. I can't wait to start this new chapter. You guys are incredible and I'm working very hard to bring you a lot of exciting things I never knew could be done. Thank you so much for this part of my life. And left is what she was, Fenrir, she was a fox, uh, a wolf, I mean, uh, like a Fenrir, which is, you know, a, a, a wolf from like legend and Fluff and Fox, she's going to be a Fennec Fox. So that's going to be another cutie. It's going to be another cute thing to see. And that's always good. I said it looks very cute. Happy you're starting a new chapter. Rima Evanstar is saying you always love the Fennec Foxes. They're so cute. I would miss having you as a model sister, but I'm so excited for you. Fluff and love. Uh, very talented. I definitely recommend them. You should get plenty more adorable sisters. Hi, Fluffers. Oh, my God. Can't wait. You look so cute. So people are very much welcoming this change. And I'm very happy to see this change. It is very, very welcome. Shrimp Cyberprawn. Uh, if you have, it's, it's a shrimp VTuber. If you are just not aware of, of everything that goes on, because, you know, I, I look at all these things. I take a look at everything. She had found out that she had a large brain tumor. It was causing her audio, like visual hallucinations, visual stuff. So uh, she wanted to actually get things done wanted to get it removed she is go she went in for surgery this is before she started surgery getting ready for surgery now today we'll beat the vtuber brain rot allegations for good love you all and i'll see you later so that's where she started the stuff and she says here shrimp just wrapped up the first day of surgery this is someone uh writing for her that was per given permission operation has been going well but progress is slow foreseen by the surgeon and she'll be going in tomorrow for the second operation thanks for the support more tomorrow so Brain surgery is not a quick thing. It's never a quick thing. And especially hers that was like in the center of the brain mass, they have to go through the lobes of the brain to actually get it. So they have to make, they have to do some cuts and things like that. So she's probably going to have to learn how to walk again, have to learn certain things again. Who knows? Depends on how, you know, how the surgery goes. I'm not a brain surgeon, so I'm not a doctor. So I'm just saying from what I'm thinking because of where it was. And she says she's finished her second day of surgery. She'll be going in for tests tomorrow, but it looks like the whole tumor has been removed. Sleeping soundly through the night. Thanks for the love and support. The body can heal very fast, especially if she's young. They can heal very fast. Get the dub. She got the dub. And she says, I lived. This is also, you know, Capo Mochi was the one who did this. This is her, her mouth, like squirrely mouth. And, you know, the the, uh, the nasal um, for the oxygen. She lived, B. Yep, she lived. It's good news. She lived, she was able to get up enough so that she can actually start posting. She's aware enough, awake enough that she can start posting for herself, which is great to see. Always, always great to see. That is all for right now. Of course, comment, like, and subscribe down below. Thank you for being here. Of course, I love having the conversations with you guys. I love having these things with you guys. And I do appreciate it whenever you guys do comment. Take a look at my description for my socials. There's a Discord. There's Twitter. There's other places that you can check me out. Twitch, etc. And also check on your screen right now because there might be a video that you might enjoy. Thank you.